Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I have a Fandom of the Month box, and I'm relatively excited for this one. It's not a Harry Potter themed box, which makes me super happy, and it's not a really overly cliche themed box. So let me scoot over, it's a dual camera video, and we shall delve right into it. So right on top, we can tell it's a purple box, and as we open the purple box, we can see a 221B Fandom of the Club member. Um, this is obviously a Sherlock Holmes themed box, which makes me so, so happy. On the back, it says, thank you for being a member of the Fandom of the Month. I hope you've enjoyed your month's shipment. Please share the merchandise photos in the Instagram, and it gives me all of their social media links. So we go like that, so you guys can have a clue of what that says too. Pretty cool. I like the card. Then it shows the modern day Sherlock and the modern day Watson. Very cool. I like getting these magnets. They do, I mean, at least they make the theme obvious once you see them, which is a nice thing. So let's unwrap this yellow tissue and delve into it. So the first thing right on top is this. Now, I believe this was the hint that she posted on her Instagram. I think this is supposed to be a headband. So let's see what this looks like. Yes, this is a Sherlock Holmes head wrap. Um, neither here nor there for me. I may just take this apart and make it into something I'll actually use because the print's cute. But it is a headband. It will just... Kind of sort of something like that, which, I mean, it's cute if you're only targeting female audiences. It isn't very uni like unimal, uh, <laughs> unisex. I mean, you could wear this around your neck kind of like a choker sort of infinity scarf if you're super small. So, yeah, that's the little headband. I'm not overly impressed with this at all. Uh, to be honest, it feels kind of cheap if I'm going to be quite blunt with you. So, yeah. Let's delve into the actual bag, which says... Whatever remains, however impossible, must be the truth. So, I like getting these muslin bags. I really do. I have a few plans of how to use these when the year is up. And I'm excited to get that project underway. I need to see how many months I've been subscribed. I think it's six or seven now. So after I hit one year, I'll have a whim inspired on that one. An actual guaranteed whim. So the first thing right on top are these little silhouette earrings. One is Sherlock. The other one is Holmes. I mean, one is Sherlock Holmes. The other one is Watson. And... They're cute. This one, again, another quality control issue with their products. This one has, let me get it up close. This one has bubbling all over it. It, It's a bit pockmarked near the edges. Hopefully that focuses. Uh, it's quality control things that have lately become the trend with this fandom. The back of the earring isn't staying on. It's actually just falling right off, which is not a good sign. Um, and the backs of these earrings are two completely different colors. It's it's a quality thing. I The longer I've been subscribed to this, the less I've liked the quality of the items. And when I first subscribed, they were really good. Um, it was as good to be... I see the back of the earrings seriously will not stay on on this. And I've only had this out of the packaging for two seconds on camera. So... Yeah. You're going to have to replace the back of these earrings if you end up getting this box. I, I'm i having a lot of issues with their quality control. I mean, in the beginning, it was all amazingly fine. Everything was beautiful and gorgeous. But now it seems like every time I turn around, one of the items is defective or isn't working. The next thing is a two-charm necklace. Or three-charm. It shows the little hat, the pipe, and I'm not a psychopath. I'm a bright, fascinating psychopath. A high-functioning psychopath. Do your research. Okay. 
This would be really cute if it hadn't been beveled. It's hard to read what's along the edge of the beveling. If you guys, it probably will look relatively clear on camera. So out of focus, focus, focus. Um, it's just, it's hard to read it at the beveling. I mean, you kind of have to move it to really make out some of this wording, but I don't know. Uh, this kind of... I don't want to say it feels like a cop-out, because it I'm sure it isn't. I like the items. I think this is a weird necklace. I think it would have been a cuter kind of charm thing, or... Just, I don't like this. I, I It's just not my favorite. I'm happy it's a different fandom, because what I have noticed, and it's pretty much a guarantee, that she does a lot of Harry Potter-themed things. Now, Harry Potter is a very big market, but it's not the only fandom out there. So let me recap this box before I really delve into my little rant. Then there is this, the earrings, the head wrap, and the little bag, the card, and the magnet. Now, my biggest thing about this fandom of the month subscription when I signed up, I thought I'd be introduced to a whole bunch of new fandoms or I'd get accessories from a plethora of fandoms, not just a select few. So far, while I have been a member, I've gotten Harry Potter twice and I haven't, I mean, and it's been kind of generic stuff. I got Once Upon a Time once and I've, it, it's just, for me, it's not enough of a diverse representation of fandoms. There's way more out there than just Harry Potter and a few television shows. Not that I'm knocking the ones that they've given out. It's just, it feels like they're scratching the bottom of the barrel and there's really nothing there, when in truth they're limiting themselves to just current pop culture. And the things that I keep feeling like her reasoning behind it is the audience for this box is way younger than anything else. But if you look on Instagram, Twitter, and all of these places where people are posting about the boxes, all the people that are posting about the boxes aren't teenagers. They're 20 pluses. So this isn't exactly a teeny bopper box. So, I mean, I'm kind of on the fence. At a one year mark, I'll do a review video like I did with Ipsy and we'll see how I feel about it then. And if I'm going to keep the service or not, because I always try to give myself one year on a service. But at this point, I'm kind of a little defeated about it. I, I just, I feel like there isn't enough diversity within the fandom. So if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. This box got really mixed feelings with me, and I will talk to you guys later. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!